What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Henry and this is Henry SBTV. I hope you guys are doing well. Now for today we have our top five video games that are going to be released this July 2020. So if you're looking something to play, maybe this is the video for you. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and check these five video games. I really love them by the way. All right, let's go. Now the first game that we're going to be talking about right now, it's Rocket Arena, a game that's coming up on July the 14th. A game developed by Final Strike game that's coming for the PS4, Xbox One and also for the PC. Now let's go ahead and take a deeper look into the video game. It actually looks very interesting and it's a 3v3 shooter game. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now this game is actually a 3v3 online game. It's a shooter and it actually features heroes similar to Valorant, I'd have to say, although this game looks a lot more dynamic in terms of the play mode. But you know, you'll have a blast meter, uh, a knockout and mega blast mechanic. And basically it'll take place into a crater where nearly everything is made of and powered by rockets. Now you will have different regions. Each region has its own hero that represents them in the rocket championship tour. Now I understand that this will have a rich history, mysterious rockets, remnants of explosions from ages past and even lost worlds waiting to be rediscovered. Now let's move on to the next Next one. Now this next game that we're going to be talking about is a Skater XL, a game that is going to be available for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and also for PC. It's going to be released towards the end of July on the 29th, however it has been pushed back in the past so let's hope that this is the actual release date. Anyway, this game was worked by Easy Day Studio and basically it's going to take skateboarding in video games to the next level talking about the realism of the tricks. Let's go ahead and take a deeper look on this video game as well. It's going to talk about some of the features and the skaters that will be included on the game. All right, let's go. Now, according to the creators of this title, you'll be able to create, combine and style tricks according to your own imagination. So basically you will have full control of your board as you hit also iconic locations. You will be able to dive into featured community created mods, brands and maps, more than 60 real skate pods. Now these skate pods will also be connected by block after block of plazas, schools, pools, buildings, car parks and corridors. Now in my own opinion this video game will contain a lot of features that will fit each skater type. Now this is very interesting and I would like to talk a little bit more about the key features that this game will also include. Now, in terms of the skaters, the game is launching with a highly renewed pros among the ones that will be in the game. It's Tiago Lemos, Brandon Westgate, Evan Smith, Tom Asta. Now, each of these skaters will also have their own gear that will fit, you know, kind of like their own style playing in real life iconic locations as mentioned before. Now, Skater XL is unique, I would say, it doesn't have like tricks programmed according to what they have mentioned. Now, each thumbstick apparently is connected to the corresponding foot of the skater. And as the player moves each of these sticks, the boy would instantly respond. So it's much like, you know, you have full control of the tricks that you want to create, whether if you want to go ahead and launch a 360 or if you want to go ahead and maybe go into a rail. So it's more like a free form of skater. And this is what they have talked about that is going to be more like a realistic game, right? And they will leave a lot of things to your imagination. So I'm actually very curious to see how it's going to work. Anyways, I don't know exactly how that's going to work on the keyboard mouse, but I am very sure it's going to be friendly while you're playing with a remote. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to our next game. All right, so we saw already about this skater world that's coming up on this July, but now let's focus more in terms of the racing world. So for this coming July, we also have two titles that we're going to be talking about. One of them is going to be NOSCAR Heat now this game coming on July 10th is also going to be available for PS4, Xbox One and PC. So if you're a lover of NASCAR, this is going to be the game for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now if you're a lover of NASCAR, then this is going to be the game for you. You will be able to experience the raw power and acceleration of stock car racing with NASCAR Hit 5 the only official licensed game of the thrilling 2020 season. Now, NASCAR Heat 5 includes all of the driver teams and 
cars from the NASCAR Cup series and the support series. Now on the PS4, um, you know, it's going to be available, although it's not going to be available for pre-order on the PlayStation Store at this time, as far as I understand. Something I would like to mention when it comes to pre-ordering is that now you'll be able to get a free career booster pack and $125,000 of in-game cash to build your own team and extra Sonoko Paint teams. Now there will be two editions for this video game, one being the standard one and the other one is going to be the gold edition. Now for the gold edition, if you pre-order it, you will get certain bonuses. Now some of those exclusive perks will be 1.4 million career mode in-game currency. In addition to this, you will also get some season pass content. I understand it's four times DLC packs, but I am not 100% certain on how that works. Now talking about the next game, which is also going to be a racing game, is the F1 2020. Now if you're excited about the NASCAR game, then you're going to be even more excited about the F1 2020 video game. It's also going to be released on July 10th. It's going to be available for PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, and also for PC. Now, this video game is the 12th installment of this franchise. It will actually contain 22 circuits, 20 drivers, and 10 teams that were included in the 2020 World Championship. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, this game for the first time will feature players being able to create their own F1 team and also a driver than choosing maybe a sponsor, an engine supplier, hiring a teammate and competing as the 11th team on the grid. Now you'll be able to build facilities, develop the team over time and drive to the top. Now the addition of a split screen racing, a new steering assist and a more accessible race experience which means that you can enjoy the game with friends no matter what your skill level is. Now the F1 2020 features all of the official teams, drivers and 22 circuits as mentioned a second ago, including two new races, Hanoi Circuit and Circuit Sand of Word. So definitely a very very interesting game. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our last video game for this one. Now this new game is actually going to be released only for the PS4 VR and as well it's gonna be released on July the 3rd developed by American Studio and published by Sony Interactive and it's just looking gorgeous let's go ahead and take a deeper look into the game so let's go ahead and check it out so hey if you're a VR lover then this game is definitely the one that you need to try just imagining yourself flying through the city being Iron Man that's super exciting and it looks awesome in terms of the graphics so Iron Man VR is an upcoming shooter video game that's you know as mentioned a second ago developed by American Studio the game was actually revealed on March 25th 2019 during the SIE's first state of play in an online presentation but you know kind of like the game features a new suit of Iron Man designed by Adi Granov on April 2nd 2020 now also developers announced that the game would be delayed um, indefinitely at that time due to COVID-19 but it's great to see that now it's going to finally be released and I am super super excited actually Marvel's games are looking pretty pretty awesome there's also the Avengers game that's coming up real soon looking very interesting you might want to check our Marvel's Avengers game as well I'll drop the link on the description below and up here on the screen but anyways this game is just looking fantastic just to see how you can fly through the map being able to attack and just Kind of like the perception that you have being on a VR and how you're going to be able to move around the map and be able to complete the game. Hey, this was the video for today. Hope you liked it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button with the notifications on. I'm gonna drop the links to my social media as well so you can stay up to date with the upcoming videos. As well, I'm gonna drop the link to our Twitch channel. We do live streams on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 p.m. CST. Not in regards to the gaming news, although just to chill out and you know have kind of like that friendly conversation, play some video games. I hope you liked it anyways. Thanks so much again and please have an excellent rest of your day. I'll see you in our next video. Take care.